Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing of the Subcommittee on Zoning and Franchise. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their videos? And to minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. And thank you for your cooperation, and we are ready to begin. Great, thank you. Good morning. Uh, I'm Council Member Francisco Moya, the Chair of the Subcommittee on Zoning and Franchises. Uh, I am joined uh, remotely today by Council Members Richards, uh, Rivera, Reynoso, uh, Lansman, Rudenchek, uh, and Levin. As a uh, preliminary point of information, I would like to note that the pre-considered LUs for the 110-40 Sotel Avenue rezoning proposal are being uh, laid over. Today, we will be voting on two rezoning proposals and one zoning special permit. Uh, before I begin, I wanna recognize uh, the subcommittee council to review the remote meeting procedures. Thank right. you, Chair Moya. Thank you, Chair Moya. I am Arthur Hogg, counsel to the subcommittee. If members of the subcommittee have questions or remarks on the items being voted today, please use the Zoom raise hand function. For participants and viewers of this meeting, please note that there may be pauses for various technical reasons uh, and we ask that you please be patient as we work through any issues. Chair Moya will now continue with today's agenda items. Thank you, Arthur. Uh, today we will vote to approve LU 658 for the 50 Old Fulton Street rezoning relating to property in Council Member Levin's district. The application seeks approval for a zoning map amendment to change an M21 uh, to an M15 uh, an M15 district to facilitate the construction of a five-story commercial office building. The rezoning would increase the maximum FAR for commercial or industrial use from two to five and allow greater flexibility with regard to allowable retail use. Council member 11 is in support of the project. We will also vote to disapprove LU 680 for the three St. Mark's Place special permit application relating to property in council member Rivera's district. The application seeks approval of a special permit pursuant to zoning resolution section 74-79 to transfer unused development rights for an individual landmark site across the street and to waive height and setback regulations along a narrow street frontage to facilitate the construction of a 10 story commercial building located at three St. Mark's Place in the East Village neighborhood of Manhattan. Council member Rivera will discuss why approval of this application is not appropriate and uh, when we turn uh, to her for her remarks. Uh, we will also vote to approve LU uh, 682 through 685 for the 1510 Broadway uh, rezoning proposal relating to property in council member Amprey Samuels district. The application by the city of New York uh, Department of Housing Preservation and Development seeks approval of a set of related land use actions including an urban development action area project designation and disposition approval. Acquisition of a portion of the development site by the city a zoning map amendment and a zoning text amendment to map an MIH area utilizing options one and two. Together, these actions would facilitate the construction of a new eight story building with approximately 107 units of affordable housing and 9,000 square feet of ground floor commercial space. Council member Empry Samuels is in support of the application. Regarding the industry city proposal on today's agenda, I note that the council is in receipt of a written statement dated October 13th, 2020 from the applicant that the application has been withdrawn. Pursuant to council rule 1160B, uh, LU 674 through 677 for the industry city proposal are filed to remove them from our calendar. Uh, at this time, I would like to recognize my colleague, uh, council member Rivera, uh, for her remarks on uh, LU 680 for the three St. Mark's special permit application. Council Member Rivera. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for giving me the opportunity to speak on LU 680, which is an application for a proposed transfer of 8,386 square feet of development rights from the landmarked for St. Mark's Place, otherwise known as the Hamilton Holly House, to the newly proposed development at 3 St. Mark's Place. The result will be your building at this East Village Gateway, a location that is 20% larger than an as of right development. The application also seeks bulk waivers to extend the building further over the St. Mark's Place frontage that would otherwise be allowed by the zoning resolution. 
As we vote on this application today, I want to be clear about my deep concerns regarding this proposal, not only because it fails to properly address the considerations of the 74-79 permit being sought, but also because the applicant did not take the Euler process seriously, continuously showing an unwillingness to consider the community's request for an affordability component such as a community space and taking a highly unusual approach to the council's charter mandated public hearing on September 24th. At that hearing, the applicant did not come prepared with any visual presentation, such as project drawings, renderings, or site photos, a first in my three years on the committee, did not have a zoning attorney or architect present, and sent only one representative, one who had been involved, one who had not been involved in the discussions with my office and who was not well versed in our area of concern. In fact, when I asked them why the bulk was appropriate on St. Mark's Place, he was unable to answer. In addition, the applicant representative at the hearing did not clearly discuss how the project met the required special permit findings, specify descriptions of the requested height waivers, or elaborate on how this proposal was consistent with prior applications made pursuant to 74-79 and the intent of the underlying zoning text. Regardless of the applicant's disrespect for the council's role in the land use process, the application itself fails to address the significant issues regarding the proposal for a 20% larger than as of right development at three St. Mark's Place. As I highlighted in my questioning at the hearing and as I've raised throughout the public review process, the proposed bulk waiver, which in a 74-79 permit is not meant to unduly increase bulk with regard to neighboring buildings, would primarily be used along the St. Mark's Place frontage of the development site, which has a significant historic context and is a narrow street as defined by zoning and is much narrower than the Third Avenue frontage, which is a wide street under zoning with five lanes of traffic and two lanes of parking. In addition, the zoning text specifically states that appropriate conditions and safeguards should be considered at a development seeking a 74-79 permit in order to minimize adverse effects on the character of the surrounding area. The developer only provided minuscule changes to the design of the proposed development at 3 St. Mark's Place to address this issue, with the development still penetrating the maximum front wall height and sky exposure plane. The proposed development clearly would still seriously impact and conflict with the landmark Hamilton Holly House from which it was transferring air rights and be out of context with the historic St. Mark's Place corridor as a whole. In my three years on the council, I've had numerous land use applications from my district come before this committee. I consider every land use vote with the seriousness these decisions deserve. And just as I have with previous applications, I always vote on the merits of the application itself. And this request for a 74-79 special permit, the first outside of a central business district or adjacent to a residential district clearly fails to meet the requirements of the zoning text, the findings, and also for sh falls short on the legislative intent. The Sitting Planning Commission in adopting section 74-79 of the zoning resolution wrote of a desire to promote architecture that will relate to and enrich the areas around landmark sites and not be detrimental to its surroundings. The proposed building neither relates to nor enriches its surroundings. And in my view, the added bulk on the St. Mark's Place frontage is detrimental. I will close by once again, highlighting my profound disappointment in the applicant's unwillingness to address valid concerns or answer questions throughout this process. And I will note that Community Board 3 and the Manhattan Borough President also recommended disapproval of this application. I will be voting to disapprove this application today and I urge my committee colleagues to do the same. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Council Member Rivera. Uh, I now call for a vote uh, to approve LUs uh, 658 and 682 through uh, 685 and to disapprove LU 680 uh, and to file LUs 674 through 677 for the industry city rezoning proposal to remove it uh, from our calendar. Uh, Council, can you please call the roll? Chair Moya. I vote aye. Council Member Levin. Council Member Levin. Stay 
Keith. And perhaps a technical issue we can come back to Council Member Levin. Council no, I, Member. No, I, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, vote up, vote on is, the uh, land use items. Okay. Um, I vote. Um, I vote aye on all, and I want to thank um, the chair and land use staff, as well as the as well as the applicant um, on Old Fulton Street, and the community groups on working out a um, equitable and reasonable solution um, to the concerns that they that they raised, and um, uh, and providing a way forward that uh, that is. Uh, meaningful, meaningfully meets those concerns. And with that, I vote aye on all. Council Member Richards. Vote aye. One all. Council Member Lansman. Aye. Council Member Reynoso. I vote aye on all. Council Member Gordenchik. Aye. Council Member Rivera. Aye. A vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. The items are referred to the full maintenance committee. So that concludes today's business. Uh, I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, the subcommittee council, uh, land use, and other uh, council staff and the sergeant at arms for participating in today's meetings. Uh, this meeting is hereby adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>